sun, our life-giving star, can unleash incredible power. Solar superstorms are a prime example. These events blast energy and particles into space. Sometimes, Earth finds itself in the path of these solar storms. What happens next is a captivating dance between our planet and the fury of the sun. Earth's atmosphere is our shield against the sun's outbursts. High above us, a layer called the ionosphere plays a crucial role. It's a dynamic region changing constantly due to solar radiation. During a solar superstorm, the ionosphere reacts in extraordinary ways. One such reaction involves the formation of something rather peculiar, sporadic E-layers. Imagine a thin metallic haze forming high in the sky. This is what a sporadic E-layer looks like. It's a dense layer of ionized metal particles concentrated at an altitude of about 90 to 120 kilometers. These layers are called sporadic for a reason. They appear unpredictably and can disappear just as quickly. They're thin, usually just one to five kilometers thick, but their impact is far from insignificant. In May 2024, a powerful solar superstorm nicknamed the Mother's Day Geomagnetic Storm struck Earth. Scientists observed something remarkable. The storm significantly enhanced the formation of sporadic E-layers. What's more, these layers didn't just appear randomly. They followed a distinct pattern, sweeping across the globe in a wave-like motion. The enhanced sporadic E-layers didn't stay put. They began their journey in the polar regions, then traveled towards the equator. This unusual propagation pattern, triggered by the solar storm, led to a concentration of sporadic E-layers over Southeast Asia, Australia, and parts of the Pacific Ocean. This phenomenon wasn't just a scientific curiosity. It had real-world implications. Sporadic E-layers can disrupt radio signals, especially in the HF and VHF bands. These frequencies are crucial for aviation, maritime communications, and even military operations. The Mother's Day geomagnetic storm and its impact on sporadic E-layers served as a stark reminder of our planet's vulnerability to space weather. The May 2024 solar storm provided a wealth of data for scientists studying space weather. By analyzing the formation and movement of sporadic E-layers, we can improve our understanding of how these events unfold. This knowledge is crucial for developing better forecasting models. Accurate forecasting is key to mitigating the potential disruptions caused by solar storms. With enough warning, airlines can adjust flight paths, ships can rely on alternative communication systems, and power grids can prepare for potential surges. Additionally, understanding solar storms can help us predict and prepare for potential earthquakes triggered by these cosmic events. The more we learn about space weather, the better equipped we are to protect our technology and way of life from the fury of the sun.